Hey guys, so continuing with the build. I noticed that the mounts that are included with the drag chain were garbage and a total afterthought. They will bolt on if you really need them to, but it's not going to be tidy. The mounts that were designed by the team at Workbee won't fit this drag chain perfectly, so I decided to make some adjustments for a very clean and tidy fit. Also, as I'm building my machine in a reverse configuration to how most are building it, I needed to make these in a mirrored configuration. These mounts will also allow you to build without finding any additional hardware than what was included in the kit. I'll include all of the links below. First off, let's mount the Y-axis C-beam mount. The drag chain that is supplied with the bulk mount kit is of good quality and will be perfectly fine for this machine. The ends can be flipped over as you can see on mine. This will allow for excellent cable routing. Also with the kit you are supplied with three cable chains. Obviously you only need two but the third one is there so that you can extend the other two. I found the best configuration to be 47 pieces on the Y axis plus the end mounts and 49 on the X. I have to apologize for the camera switching here. I needed to use a head cam to get the angles for this last bit of the build. Let's move on to the x-axis. Just one mount for the top, then one drop-in T-nut for the bottom. Time to start routing some wires. I'm only running one stepper wire and one end stop wire to the z-axis for the time being. Taping the ends and sliding them through makes this easy. Now let's do the rest of the Z drag chain. Here we are routing the Z end stop, the Z motor, X end stop and the X motor wire. I wanted to find a nicer way to run the A motor wire. Rather than just tucking it into the 20 by 40 extrusion, I went with routing it through the inside cavity and popping it out the other end. Thank you. 
I have opted to solder my end stops. This makes a good connection that can't be bumped off and allows you to make the connection shorter and neater. I would struggle to fit the supplied connectors on the Z-axis end stop. Let's zip tie this cable up and out the way as we don't want any movement here. And lastly I again opted to solder my stepper motors. I won't be moving these cables or undoing them at any time, so soldering them up makes for a much neater install. This is just a simple cable braid to keep things clean. I slid it on before we soldered these up. That's it for this video, I'll have my next one up shortly. Again, thanks so much for watching, please like and subscribe for more.